Sometimes it's possible for us to be able to reduce the index of a radical. So for example, if you look at number 22, that's a ninth root. And it would be really nice if we could get that to something smaller because it makes it easier to find the answer. Well, the way that we would do this would be by first converting it into exponent form. So this would be x to the, remember we're going to have the numerator and the denominator of the fraction. The denominator is the index, so that's going to be ninth. The exponent that you use is going to be the numerator. And now sort of a side note that would be um, relevant here. We don't typically write it this way, but it is the same thing. If you have, uh, let's see, the nth root of a to the m power, strangely enough, that actually gives you the exact same answer if you were to put the power under the radical. So that's why the 3 there is the numerator. Anyhow, when we do that, now you can see that 3 ninths is a fraction that we can reduce. And so we will do that, which gives us x to the 1 third. And now we can take that and put it back in radical form, which would be the cube root of x to the first, so that's just x. So I've taken this down from a ninth root to a cube root, which is a lot nicer to work with. Number 23 is pretty much the same thing. This would be x to the 3 sixths, which simplifies to x to the 1 half. And then back in radical form, that's going to be the square root of x. One more thing to point out, remember if it's a square root, we leave the index blank. So if you type this into my math lab with a 2 there, there's a very good chance that it's going to mark it wrong. So just make sure square root is blank. Just like we don't write 1x, we just write x, the square root is very much the same thing. And that's it.